quick hands, missed the adjustment. Eight, six. From eleven. Kareem Abdul Gawad. There, just so relaxed. So, so relaxed. Oh, what a rally. That's a, a brilliant rally from Farag. And again, Ten using nine, right. mostly length play, but that switch here at the end, brilliant wrist work. Yeah, he's done that well. He's looked strong around the middle, Ali Farag. He's set a good precedent there. Gawad and Ali Farag, is, uh, there's a reason why he's world number one, Johnny, and he takes his opportunities first time. Very clever. What a shot. Very clever, hence the... Uh, Ali Farag seriously pumped Farag. up. You could just see him gesticulating there. At the end, very, very clever down the middle. Really feeling this. Very well, it, exactly. It was a tactical ploy from him, from, from his part, to come out and really put some more pace in the game. And Gawad soaked it beautifully. And his racket skill has just sort of taken over. And Farag now has got some serious work to do to play here. Oh, completely done there. He'd been fetching those cross drops from Gawad early in the game. And out 7 6. See that little change of the hand. And then the. Oh, I don't believe it. I just saw, I just thoroughly Down. enjoying the, that it's rally, the contest. It's me, yeah. Uh, Each player has one review available. So the error coming from Ali Farag and a lifeline given. Risk taking has been shut down and Farag seems to have control over things as long as Gawad's not able to utilize the front of the court as he would like to. Down. And there's the error. 12-10, game to Farag. Farag leads two games to love. So the baby-faced assassin makes the error. Ali Farag showing tremendous patience and experience. He's, he's really... Incredible holding again. Let's see if... There's any life left in Karim Abdul Gawad. Three six. Baby faced assassin can. It's a shame. It's a real shame. Eight, but you three. know the first two games, Ali Farag, he dug deep. He had these opportunities. He was leading nine seven Gawad in the first and six two in the second, Johnny. So he had his opportunities, but you know, so did Tarek Moman and Ari. <laughs> Ari is his Nine known. three. <laughs> Ari is his known in Croydon. <laughs> Ali Farag is uh, making the most of them. Really is. He's uh, came uh, second last year in this event. And there's now the error. So seven championship balls for Ali Farag. It's a shame to see the baby-faced assassin. Hopefully, it's not too serious. We also now had the scenario with uh, Norongo Har, but Ali Farag, Farag wins his uh, three games first El Guna International Squash Nine Open. Nine. 2019, another tournament on his resume, and he's battled very, very hard through it. A five gamer with the Puma, a five gamer with Tarek Moment, and now winning three love. Cementing himself at the top of the tree as the new world number one, putting some uh, distance between himself and Mohamed El Shabagi. So he'll be over the moon. Hugely consistent, 46 minutes, wasn't the five setter that we wanted, but it's Ali Farag that overcomes Kareem Abdul-Gawad, three games to love. And also there lurking in the background is your check as well, which is gonna be presented to you by Mr. Sharif Hassan of Arab African International Bank.
Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen. Would you like me to hold that for a second for you? I promise I'll give it back. <laughs> Not that one, you can hold on to that. Uh, so close to winning that trophy last year, lost to Marwan in the final last year. Uh, but this year, you came out on top. Again, probably not the outcome that you were expecting in the final. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, as everyone uh, knows here, I've played Karim in so many great finals in Egypt. Uh, he's won them all, and uh, uh, it uh, was really a shame the way uh, at the end of the second and the third, I'm sure if he was uh, better physically, it would have been a totally different story. So, uh, but uh, as he said, I think he had an amazing week and uh, he's uh, playing well again this season and it's great to have him on tour because I think now that maybe Rami has retired, he's the most skillful one on tour now. So it's great to have him.